side In the darkness is the light Out of the shadows of my life Fee was too little, but I still remember the day we moved into our house in Colorado. It was like walking into a castle. It was the best. It was home. I think that desire to have a home, a place that's all yours, is what's behind all these online virtual worlds that are popping up. You know, the ones where people can create their own real estate and even create their own characters, called avatars, to populate them. There's one medieval fantasy world that has over 125,000 players. It got so crowded that people were actually able to sell the virtual real estate they created to new players. Sounds crazy to me, but uh, whatever floats your boat. The only thing I'd worry about is if people get so stuck in these virtual worlds that they can't tell which world is real and which one is just pixels. Web page. Now what? Uh, click on the mail icon. You mean the uh, little envelope thing? That's the one. Wow, somebody has not been checking her emails. Hey guys, it's Fee calling from Aunt Rachel's. You want to say hi? Mm. Uh, Jack says hi, honey. And he misses you and he loves you. Sure, Mom. Run at him, too. Hey, Fee, have fun in New York. She says hi, Carrie. So, did Aunt Rachel get the full partnership? No, not yet. I'm giving her some pointers, though. I mean, she's smart and everything. But she still writes all of her briefs in longhand. When she wants to do research, get this. She goes to the library. Oh, wow, 21st century calling. Well, I hope you're not going into withdrawal without your laptop. I swear to am. And just don't trust those x-ray machines at the airport. They say they won't mess up your computer, but you never know. Well, it's in good hands here. Candu 303. That's Fee's friend Candy. Oh, Tulpa Master. No, that's James. Well, McQueen's your grandparents. The only one I don't recognize here is from a Jordan. Jordan? I thought her name was Tamara. Yeah, Tamara Jordan. And it could be your last name, right? Wow. You two must have had a very special five minutes together. <laughs> Come on. It was after a gig. The place was clearing out. At least I got her first name. This one's got to be it. Look, there's a smiley face right here. She had a really great smile, so that and she promised she'd write. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, this one's addressed to Fee. Click here for a wonderful surprise. If you won't mind if we check this out, will she? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Carrie, Carrie, don't click on it. Don't what? Click. And you know how Ned loves antique stores. Hello? Fee? Are you there? What was that? I don't know. That's how computer viruses spread, Carrie. Some loser sends an email with an infected file attached, and suddenly your hard drive is history. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... V is going to freak when she finds out you melted her laptop. Shh, I didn't know. Okay, baby, give Aunt Rachel a big hug for me. Bye-bye. Excuse me, did I just hear the words Fee's laptop and meltdown in the same sentence? No. Well, not those words exactly like that. Is it broken? Uh, I'll see what I can do with Mom, but I just... Carrie, where's my CD player? You guys, you promised Fee that you would be careful with her computer. Jack, um... Why don't you just sit here and take my place, and, um, see, Jack is a very, very smart guy. If anybody is going to fix his, um, where's my mug? It was, it was right there. Wait a second. Hold on. Mm -hmm. That's the same kid that's on this other postcard. That's the antique store outside. Wait, I thought this Jordan kid was one of Fee's friends. So he works at the antique store? I don't know. Let's go see. Maybe he can fix Fee's computer. I don't get it. This place was packed when we pulled up. Hello? Anybody? There's nobody here. There's nobody out there either. Maybe there was a civil defense siren. I mean, remember that tornado warning in Tulsa? I didn't hear a siren. Yeah, but why would Mom and Dad leave without us? Well, see, they wouldn't. They've got to be around here somewhere. This is just too bizarre. It, doesn't it feel like everybody in the world is just, like, hiding and they're going to jump out and you'll surprise? Maybe we should split up. No, we need to stick together, at least until we figure out what's going on. There's got to be an explanation for this. Yeah. But I don't think it's any of the explanations we've been thinking of. This is impossible. Where did the rest of the world go? Jack. I think we're in the world anymore. Ned, lava lamps aren't antiques. They still make those. But the old ones work better. They bloop more. Bloop? You know, bloop. They do. Okay. We're back. Sorry we took so long. Hello, guys? Yo, Gary. Molly? Jack? They gotta be here somewhere. Okay, maybe it's a movie set. Or some kind of amusement park. Right, yeah, and that, that thing with your arm, what... What would that be, the, uh, give you a heart attack ride? Hey, I don't see you coming up with an explanation. Oh, you want an explanation? How about we have all gone nuts? Maybe you've gone nuts. Hey, wait a minute, you guys. Just stop it, okay? We can figure this out. We'll just, we'll retrace our steps. Now, we pulled over. Irene and Ned went shopping. Gary asked me to show him how to check if Tammy Faye emailed him. Tamara. The only weird thing I remember is when the phone glitched. It was really loud. When you were talking to Fee? After we all said hi? Yeah, right after that. That's when Carrie opened that email from Jordan. I already said I was sorry. Wait a minute. How could opening an email do all this? Thank you. 
So what, we turn the laptop off and kill the virus? I don't know yet. I gotta look at it. world carrie there's no way come on the kid sent that email he's got to be some kind of computer genius you don't have to be a genius to send an email look carrie i admit something very weird is going on around here but everything still feels real right uh, maybe it only feels real to us because because we're like programmed to think that way I mean, come on, you saw what happened to Jack's arm out there. It isn't just this world that's whacked out, it's, it's us too. Okay, so you're saying that that one moment we were real and then that email pulled us inside the computer? I said I was sorry about that. No, I don't believe this. What just happened? Uh, guys? Guys? Underwater? playing with your computer. Here, talk to me. Fee, carry open an email with some weird attached file. And, um... Well, um, I, I think, uh, I, I think it sucked us into a virtual world. Guys, April Fool's Day's in April. No, Fee, we don't know how it happened or why, but you gotta help us. Give me the phone. Fee, listen... The email was addressed to you. It was sent from a kid named Jordan. That's all it said in the return address was Jordan. I enjoy a joke just as much as the next girl, but... Guys? No, feet. Hello? Guys? What? Does she believe us? So we don't even know if Fee believes us. I know I wouldn't have. Oh, come on, it's Fee. Her curiosity will get the best of her. You guys, everyone's going to get curious when they figured out we disappeared. But what can anybody out there do for us? You're right. We're going to have to find Jordan. Why? Because he's the one that put us in here. That means only he can get us out. Nothing. Most of the cell phones out of the calling area. We've only been gone for half an hour. How far away could they be? I don't care what good looking at these postcards is going to do us. Well, they're all we've got. I mean, maybe they can help us figure out where Jordan is, how we can contact him. What, you think he's living in one of these places? 
Okay, you guys. I hit the underwater postcard, and we were underwater. Mom hit the antique store and brought that up. Whoa. Do you think we could build, like, a virtual snowman? Each one of these cards is like some sort of enter key. Yeah, like those touch screens you see on kiosks at the mall. Oh, let me try. Carrie, what are you trying to do? Fry us? Sorry. Well, Carrie, you're right about one thing. Wherever this Jordan kid is, he's definitely a genius. What, you're trying to butter him up now? Oh, you think he's listening? Hey, Jordan, I want to tell you something. I think you're sick and you should see a therapist, like, right away. No better yet, an exorcist, because you're evil. You hear me? Evil! Wait a minute. No, I, I don't think this kid is evil. I think he's lonely. Jack, when you were little, we were on the road so much that you and your sister used to spend days building these little worlds with building blocks. Anything to get outside the hotel rooms, the bus. Yeah, I remember that. And your worlds weren't complete until you... Until we filled them with people. <laughs> Paper dolls, popsicle stick figures. Oh, so we're like little popsicle people in Jordan's computer world. I don't see how that makes him any less lonely. It's from Fee. How? She must have modemed into her laptop. It's like she's sending us an email. What does she mean? Oh, wait, there's more. Inside the internet. Inside the internet. don't just like write themselves i mean somebody's got to send them right who did that don't look at me you guys have all the cards actually i hold all the cards Jordan? Yeah, hi, how are you? Let's get down to business. Where is she? Where's who? She. She. Who have we been chatting to all day, courtesy of Jordan's long distance service? You mean Fee? You let us call her? Internet telephony. You know, it's going to put the phone companies out of business. But all you can talk about is Jordan did this and Jordan did that. I had to cut you off. If you keep bad mouthing me, she's not going to want to come here. Wait, that email was addressed to Fee. She's the one you wanted? Months of preparation developing my screen radiation capture process. Sidebar to illustrate my genius. Energy radiates from a computer screen for a nanosecond before it pulls back. I amp up the energy about a billion times, and anyone within a 20-foot radius gets reeled back with it. I go to all that trouble to capture my queen, and I end up with you three. Your queen? Queen, girlfriend, squeeze, the terminology isn't important. All right, she's in Manhattan. I've traced her that far. But Aunt Rachel doesn't even have email, the Luddite. She's a lawyer for Pete's sakes. What's she thinking? Fee went to her neighbors to send you that last message. And I don't want to spend six billion millivolts capturing a neighbor. So... Call her. 
and tell her to go to a computer terminal of my choice, and we'll be square. Never. Never? What do you mean never? You think you can say no to me? I just did. I'm not going to give you my daughter. Hey, lady, maybe you don't get it. You only exist because of me. See this? Your computer code is in my hands. If ID Ghost says that's it, you're erased. Your history! Whoa, back off, little man. Listen, we are not bringing my sister into this place. All right, okay. Plan B. I use you as bait. Bait? Sure, it's simple. I send a new message, something cryptic but inviting. Click here for info on your missing family. She's as good as mine. But she already knows where we are. She's not going to do it. Yeah, she's too smart for that. Don't you think I know she's smart? I've been in here for a year monitoring websites to find the perfect person to share my kingdom. Fee's got it all. Brains, personality... And she's hot. Where did you get that picture? Have you been spying on us? Spying? Who, who needs to spy? Fee puts your whole existence on her website. ever did me any good. Get a hobby, Jordan. Don't be such a geek, Jordan. Don't spend so much time online, Jordan. We're worried you don't have any friends, Jordan. You know, nobody out there appreciates me. Why do you think I built this place? You forgot about your popsicle people. I could program a million people. I just want fee. Well, you're not getting her. Come on, you guys. Wait. We can make things work. We'll make it nice for you here. We'll be like one big family. I mean, she probably wouldn't like it if you weren't here. No. You don't have to lose touch with people. I can find anybody from in here. Look. Like that girl you keep looking for. Tamara? Oh, she was a Tammy fan. Or, or, or that girl you keep looking for, Rebecca. Oh, yeah. Her, too. Jordan, writing people is fine, but it's not the same. It's the touch. We could never survive here. Faye could never survive here without being able to touch these people, to be in their presence. The touch is what makes life wonderful. It's what makes it possible. If you get on that bus, that's it. I'll erase you. And I'll get her anyway. Eventually, I'll get her. You've been gone for a year? What do your parents think happened? They think I ran away. And Mom's afraid something, you know, bad happened. Have they given up hope? No. Not yet. That's what being a parent is like, Jordan.
built all these beautiful places. But in every picture, he's alone. Checking my email. Uh, well, who's your friend? Name's Jordan. Hi, how are you? Uh, we've met. You guys wouldn't remember. I ended up uh, erasing some files. I just changed my mind about which ones. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've been thinking I should call my parents. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I think this is yours. T. Is he a friend of yours? I've never seen him before. How did he get in here? Monday Night Football Club and check out some of today's hottest athletes in Disney Channel's original series, The Jersey, here on Disney Channel. <laughs> 